Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Station Ears. I'm just uh, moving things around a little bit. I've been trying to get a little bit organized around here, because it's a bit of a mess. I've been trying to organize things in the lockers, like I got kits in here. Uh, I have made some more solar panels, because today we're going to... We're going to get some more solar panels set up and automated. I have been doing a lot of research on the wiki, and uh, there's more to this game than I originally thought. Uh, if you're wondering about the extra stuff here, uh, I've had a few issues, uh, oxygen-related. I was running low on oxygen, I filled up my oxygen, and I didn't realize at the time that how complex this game is, where the oxygen just isn't straight-up oxygen, is actual oxygen nitrogen mixture so i have to make sure to wanna place this down here come on fine get that out of the way uh but yeah so i gotta use a gas mixer to mix about 20 to 30 percent oxygen with 70 to 80 percent nitrogen to get a proper mixture uh same with the fuel i should be using a fuel mixture for this i actually tried to do this on my own and failed and the reason why I was doing that is try to get the, this thing a little more automated so I don't have to load up ice at night. Uh, I have been figuring this out a little bit more. It does have to be high temperature. I was able to s salvage some of that regent that I had and got my electrum back. I was trying to save this steel, but I'm getting like a 0.1 and a 0.3 and 0.9 numbers on the iron and carbon. So eh, maybe the reg regent processor will help. Uh, I've also had some... Uh, yeah, there's... Uh, couple of my skulls. Uh, some of they actually add in the game now too. Now there has been an update as you can see by the con shelf that I have upside down. Uh, we do have a five slot shelf that you can hang on the wall. I don't know if it's all over like just on the top or if you can go on the sides. It's only on the blocks not on the, the walls. So that is another thing that we have. I don't know if it's paintable. It was defaulted yellow. Another thing they added was uh, the players drop skulls when they die. Uh, there is a bit of a bug where I'm getting two skulls for every time I die, which is fun. Uh, but yeah, it's always fun respawning. It's like dragging your body around. How do I get my stuff back? Not realizing I had to wait for it to decompose. Uh, also, too, I uh, realized, too, I actually looked, looked this up, that you can actually put your a container in this container to fill it up and do it that way. So we'll get into that. Uh, I also have made some tanks because I do want to try to get going in with the... Uh, life support system, get a pressurized area so I'm not wearing a jetpack all the time and try to get some automation. Uh, I am aware that water is a gas in the game, or at least it was until this update, and uh, we could probably even test it right now. Let's, let's actually do this. Do I have any ice on me? Uh, something I did too, I don't know if you noticed, but my jetpack is actually a different color now. Or not my jetpack, my backpack. I have, well, I wouldn't say I made two of them, I uh, kind of borrowed one from one of my clones, I'll call them. And so what I've done is I have a, a my this is my building backpack and building belt. And if I switch this over, and this will be my mining belt, or mining pack. So this is all my mining belts in here. Uh, I do have some stuff in here, my drill and all that stuff. But this is just uh, inventory management. The best thing is I can actually put this backpack in that backpack. So it's kind of inventory cheating. Uh, as you can tell by the circuits and the wires, I have looked up on the wiki. I found a... A suitable setup for um, a full solar panel automation. Now, I have looked at the logistics. I have an idea of what's going on. I can't figure out what it actually is doing and the logics and all that stuff. But we're going to get that set up and at least get it going so we got the proper power set up. I'm getting caught on that wall all the time. I seem to be all over the place today. Uh, what don't I need on me? We can put the pipes back. I made pipes and I should have some valves somewhere. I'm not too sure, but I want to, you know, get some sort of oxygen, nitrogen collection, life support production system going on. I have been looking at, like, how in depth some of these things can get. It's quite something. So I need to, what I'm going to do is. I'm going to extend this to same three. I'm going to go another 12 because I don't know if having solar panels here will actually block the these solar panels. So I'm just going to continue off in a line and go from there. So uh, I'll bring you back when I got all that set up and wired up. Uh, another side note too is I have had a couple of wire fries here, especially on this side here. And I think it was because I was running the generator and had the solar panels running. And realistically, I probably should have the generator going through an APC going and 
you know, I mean, two separate APCs going into the same line, maybe. I'm not too sure. That's already out of power, too. Anyway, I shall return. Okay, I am almost done. As you can see, I've decided to do the data cables in blue just to keep this all separated because, uh, in case things go wrong. So, yeah, I have them all set up. I got them all set to the same angle. Now, uh, I do have to look at something here, so I'll be right back. Okay, there's actually something I remembered that I still have to make is uh, another power controller. I do need solder for this, so I think it's time we f figure out how to use this thing properly. Uh, I, like I said, I have been sort of figuring it out. Doesn't mean it's 100%. I'm gonna go grab my mining pack here. As I need lead and silver out of here. Uh, hmm. Gotta make sure I put the right belt on, too. Uh, actually, no. Lead and iron. So we'll take out uh, the iron. Uh, well, I should put that up there for now. I actually like that. And I have lead here somewhere. And one of these mini packs. And it'd be nice if I could actually label them, but I can't. Yeah, that's more uh, more mistake. Coal. Uh, lead. Okay. We can do that. We'll put that back. Switch our packs again so I can place that there. And do I have space? I said, do I have space? Ah. Uh, yeah, I will. I should be able to fit those in there. No, I can't. Oh. Clumsy me. Alright, so yeah, it's just equal parts, one and one, of iron and lead, unless I'm wrong. And from what I've seen, it's, it needs a very low temperature. So, uh, I need three, so let's go ahead and one, two, three, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, yeah, I did not mean to do that. I forgot, it's actually got to take some time to go, so six of those, and it helps if I actually close the thing, because I was making steel earlier, and there you go, I love how they do a the little dance there, come back here, okay, the only thing I haven't, able, uh, well, I have found nickel, but I haven't actually picked it up yet, don't know what I actually need it for, but okay, okay, how many have we got in there, one, yeah, that's right, because they all jumped out. Wait, hold on. Oh, I guess I gotta fire it up again, so let me get this taken care of all kit. Man, I'll be right back. Okay, I got it. Uh, power control is going through. I had to uh, go hide in a hole somewhere and separate some ice and get it all set up. But that should be it. Uh, okay, we'll take that out. Uh, for some reason, I had was crafting a canister and I uh, cancelled the crafting but for some reason I continued crafting it. Uh, I'm sure it's a bug, it's early access, I am well aware of that. Alright, so I have that. I do have to grab a battery for this and I do have glass on me. Okay, so the first thing I need to do, uh, yeah I think the APC was just to maintain power so I might have to branch off the main here. Let me actually check this quickly. Okay, that looks like what I have to do. Uh, what I should do is get some wire. And we'll do that. And then we'll do that. And then we'll just try to keep this separate from here. And uh, I can't remember who you are, but uh, again, I thank you for telling me about being able to splice wires in together by uh, having the wrench in your hand. It comes in actually real handy so you don't have to take stuff out. Uh, so this thing needs to be... doesn't really matter where it's got to be. The, sensor. Let's actually put this down first. So I need to put place a sensor down first. It needs to be a daylight sensor. Will it not place on there? Oh, it looks like I have to upgrade the frame, maybe. Let's find out. Okay, turn that off, and uh, see what I have in there. I had wire cutters. Okay, 
I am trying to get in the habit of using the mouse wheel too to move things around. Why are you not placing here? You place on top. Oh. Now it is. Was it placing the whole time and I just wasn't... I was just being an idiot. Okay, whatever. But yeah, it's supposed to face on... Uh, the side facing the sunrise. So, over there. So that is set to daylight sensor. And then for the circuits, let's see, we had we need to have three memory logic chips. Let's see. Yeah. Logic. Uh, is there a certain placement? I'm just going to go by what I saw on the picture, so I think I might have to move this somewhere else. Hang on. Okay, just because nothing's actually going to cross on its own, I think we can do it here. So I'm going to have three memory memory logic chips here. Uh, we'll have to set those up later. And then... Hold on. Okay, so then we need a logic reader and a logic writer. So a logic reader, and it's got to be... Yeah, it's got to go in this way. I can't remember. Let me check something here. Oh, I can see it here. I yeah, one block would be fine. So we can place this here realistically. So logic reader, and then we need go over to the logic processor, and again we gotta have it going this way. And let's see, what do we need here? I think it's a math unit, right? Uh, yeah, two math units and a min-max unit. Don't ask me what they mean, I have no idea. I'm just going by what I see on the picture. So two math units. And then I compare a min-max unit. And then I do remember this one, and this is the logic writer at the end. And no idea what it's doing, but that is it. And then... So then... Okay, hang on. I know you don't see anything but just me staring at the screen here. So now I just gotta actually connect these up uh, down here on the bottom with logic. The top gets connected with power. And uh, yeah, now I'm starting to realize that maybe this is a bad spot for it. I might have to move this uh, just because the data cable is there. No, not really. No, I can have the power coming down to the side. I'll figure it out. So yeah, and then it's just a matter of connecting all this up with data cable. So let me do that, and I shall return. Uh, I also have to make some more cables, so I'll show you how I do this. Uh, I painted one stack, and I just add to my stack and I change the color. Early access games, gotta love it. Anyway, I shall return. Okay, so I have it all done. All I gotta do now is set everything up, and I have to do the settings with a screwdriver. So, as you can see, there is basically these are just setting variables. So, what I need to do is I go to the next picture on here, and it's there's a simple version, there's a full version. I'm doing the full version. So, so I need to set the top one for 15, then 1.5, and then 100. And I am still recording good right, and back to the game yeah so let's see here so we got to set this to 15 so this is zero so oh that's too high and that's wrong button yes oh okay I got you Okay, 15, and then this is going to be 1.5, and this will be 100. I do believe 15, 1.5, 100. Okay, and then over here we set this to solar panel. I think so. Uh, oh no, daylight sensor, and then solar angle.
And why is this not working? Hang on a sec. Here's the thought. It's because there's no power. Let's grab the crowbar, open this thing up. Oh, that's the wrong thing. And I did have a battery. We'll pop that in there. We'll turn that on. And uh, we'll close that. So now, is this actually going to work? Because the daylight sensor should be getting power? Does it need power? There's a sensor here. And it's connected. Does this thing actually need power? I don't think it does. It shouldn't. Hmm. Aha, here we go. Daylight sensor, and we want to change this to uh, solar angle. Somewhere in here. There we go, daylight sensor and solar angle. Okay, then the next one is going to be the math unit. Let's see here. Sorry, just doing a quick recording check here. Uh, okay, so the next one is going to be subtract 15. Uh, it's apparently taking the angle and subtracting things, so we'll just turn this on for now. Okay, uh, subtract. And... Oh, yes. I was supposed to actually be renaming these things. Uh, let me do that, I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, there we go. So this is 15, that's 1.5, that's 100. So this has to be set to uh, logic math 15. Okay, right? Subtract. And then you are going to be divide 1.5. Divide. One point five. Okay, and then less one hundred. I think. Yeah. I'm getting confused. There's so many screws. Less one hundred. And then solar panel vertical should be it at least I think I have it set up right Let me just double check. I think I might have to wait for the next cycle, but we should be good. Okay, I think I got it figured out. That means there's an error. Uh, I'm supposed to be pulling in a result on this side, so uh, it's uh, logic math. It's actually, let's rename these. Go over here, turn that on. We'll just rename this logic math one and logic math two. Okay, turn that off and put that back in here. So that's coming in from the logic reader, right? And this one will be coming in from logic math one. Okay, and this will be taken in from logic math two. And this should be taken in from min max unit. At least I think. Right? So angle, vertical, no errors. Logic min max coming from here. Yeah, because uh, the arrow it actually shows that it's taking, the picture shows that it's saying result on this side. So that's what I'm guessing. So I shall return. 
Okay, so I don't know why, but only one of them is actually turning. It is working. I had to turn them around and uh, set them so that zero degrees was facing the sun because that's the way the, the math is working. But for some reason, none of, them, none of the rest of them actually wanted to work. Like, as you can see, this is going up slowly. 46, 47%. This one will not move. I can move it manually. That's about it. Not much serious. Uh, I have to get at the exact angle as this. Which I highly doubt. So I've adjusted this a couple of times now. This one, I tried to. if I try to change it, it automatically reverts. So I don't know why it's only this one that moves, but none of the rest of them. Uh, I will... I think I am going to shut the system off and then turn it back on and wait another day cycle and see what happens so I'll return okay stop typing in the comments I figured out my problem uh, I actually figured this one out on my own I was using a writer not a batch writer so how do I actually get rid of these things take these things out uh, now say a drill oh yes I was right about that okay so I picked that up and I want batch writer, yes. All right, so the input is gonna be from the min-max unit. It's gonna be, uh, uh, let's see here, all solar panel and vertical. Oh, and turn it on. Aha! You almost think I knew what I was doing. It's only because I kind of figured that out. And we can also do a test here too. Is your efficiency down? 99%, 99%. That's fine. Oh, there we go. My first automation with a little, a little bit of help from Wiki and the uh, lovely people on Steam. So the next thing I want to do is, like I said, I want to try to get some sort of uh, life si support system going. Uh, hopefully, these batteries will stay perfectly charged. I can get rid of that thing and save my coal for steel. So, uh, let me be right back and we'll move on to the next. Alright, I'm just looking at the recording time and, you know, could move it to something else, but let me start making it, make it a little long on the episode. So what I'm going to do is, between this episode and the next episode, I'm going to get a whole bunch of supplies crafted up, like frames and plates and or sheets and glass and some other stuff, and we'll move into some other things. Um, probably the next one we're going to do is start getting the hydroponics, because I'm going to have to get some food going, uh, got to get some water and oxygen, and it's going to be a big step with a lot of filtration and processing and all that stuff, but what we can do before we end this is we're going to experiment with the water. Now, I do have this still hooked up. Yes, I do. I don't know why I launched like that. All right, so that is still turned on. Let's actually turn that on now. Okay, that is on. Uh, we'll just leave the vents closed for now because I just need to shoot open. But what we're going to do is we're going to test the water out. Now this is part of the uh, part of the update that we just had. So we're going to settings, and I should have it already enabled. Yeah, I, uh, here disable water visualizer. Turn that back on because, I, like I said, I didn't know water was actually a gas in this game. But I have some water in here. Go ahead and oh, and drop that in there. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to wait for the day to come. But apparently you can visualize the water. And from what I've seen, it looks pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, I'll be back. I guess I might as well ramble on about a few things you may have noticed here, too. Uh, one of the things I've did, done is I added a bunch of shoots on here and an output. And I was hoping that it would be like a, uh, like a dispenser system where something would stay in there until I take it out. And then the next one would come out. But apparently this is just an automated thing. So... Uh, what I've been thinking about doing is, you know, I don't want to necessarily have everything going through here like we have other machines like the hydraulic, pr hydraulic pipe vendor and we have the electronics printer and the auto lathe. So we don't really need to be using this for everything. Uh, this could be really for bulk things because you can queue things up. So I was trying to think of a way of, you know, having, uh, let's say the ingots, which can be stacked in 500 and have them go through a stack or split up into 50... 50 gram segments we'll call it so I can just take one off go put it into each machine individually because I go over here and I wanted to build, paint the menu, build the print, paint mixer for some reason because I had a problem with the fabricator where it wasn't actually printing stuff it would show up in the list the resources would be there but it wouldn't actually work and I had to do a shutdown and restart and 
the whole nine yards. So I wanted to, I was thinking about having some sort of thing where I could just go and grab a stack from here, go dump it in there if I, in case I needed it so I don't have to like avoid this entire machine of all these ingots just to get gold, for instance. You know what I mean? But yeah, anyways, and then now I was messing around with like the paint mixer. I have an idea of what's going on here. I got the raging processor set up. I set up the bench and I figured out how to attach things to it. But for some reason, I couldn't get this thing working. Like for some reason, it doesn't even want to turn on. Don't know why. It turns off automatically when you put things in. But yeah. Oh. oh okay. I was inserting the wrong spot here. Uh, yeah, I wanted to grab some green paint because uh, that was actually going to be actually I can, I can do it, I can put that away because uh, I wanted the data cable to be green not blue but now that I painted it means I will have to repaint it uh, one by one unless I take it apart but I don't want to do that uh, I also got to get a habit keeping that closed because I have turned my air conditioning on a few times and not realized it alright so let's go ahead and uh, split that and put that there Oh, yeah, uh, I know. I realize this is pointless now because uh, I need, what was it, soy oil for this thing? Oh, okay, that, that all works. Okay, I got you, I got you. Okay, I'm going to take the dye, we put it in here. Is it actually going to work? No. Then it won't let me clear it. Ha ha ha. Uh, yeah, I needed soy oil. Well, I know I have soybeans, but that just means I gotta start processing soy and all that stuff. Actually, you know what? Just because I don't have them here, do I? No. I think they're still over here. Uh, let's do this. Now I'm gonna see if I can figure this out on my own. So I'm gonna take one, take that. I'm gonna split one of them out, and I'm gonna put them here. And you know, I guess I have looked at the wiki. I have looked at a lot of things, and I have learned about the organic printer. So I'm not too worried about losing things. But if I'm not correct, if I'm not mistaken, oh wait, hold on. Aha! I figured it out. Oh! Now the question is... Okay. Is this working? Probably not. Do I need containers? That's the question. Uh, let me actually check this. Okay, according to the wiki, it's uh, basically, what was it, five soy oil to, f to 50 green, so I'm going to add, oh, I went too much. Way too much, I think I need to put more green in there. Oh well, you live, you learn, right? Anyway, uh, yeah, I think we'll probably end up calling this one here. Uh, oh, yeah, we're waiting for the ice to melt. I'll be right back. Actually, the sun's just about to come up. You can actually see the solar panels heading back to their their main position. Uh, yeah, it's not going to tell me because I don't have my wrench out. Let's see here. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, 14. Uh, again, I have no idea what the math is actually doing or how it's calculating it. Oh, I'm stuck in the wall. But I do know the sun's going to be coming up soon, so we're going to be able to see this ice melt, ice melt pretty quick. So I shall return. Oh, yeah, another thing. Uh, I also learned too after working with this thing. Sometimes if the pressure is not high, if sometimes if the pressure is too high, uh, you have to actually vent it. So I have, for the time being, put a manual valve on there with a passive vent just to release the pressure so I can fire it up again and I do realize I can automate everything here. I can have that set up with an active vent to automatically depressurize if this happens to hit too high or I can hit a button and just get to do it automatically. But bring on the sun. And it should be there any time now.
And there's the sun. So what's happening with this ice? Let's keep an eye on it. I'm supposed to see some water in here. In fact, I don't have my mind pack on me, so I don't care. Oh! Ha ha ha, I got sucked into the vent. Hang on. Let's, uh, let's run, run, run. Uh, where's my pack? Where's my pack? I like how you can just change it on the fly like that. Uh, gotta make sure I don't put that away. That's the wrong one. Uh, ice blue. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to turn that passive vent off first. Like as soon as possible. Okay, we put that in. And turn that off. Because it was sucking it into the vent, that's why. Haha. <laughs> But I had nowhere to go. I also do realize too that if I want to be pumping stuff out of here into containers, I should be using a pressure re regulator. So I to make sure that it actually pumps everything out. So water is supposed to be a visual. So let us see what happens. Come on. Melt. That's funny. It melts when you don't want it to. Or when you don't want it to melt, it melts. But when you want it to melt, it won't. <laughs> I'm reading. Should be nice and toasty in there. Anyway, I'll bring it back. That is strange. It doesn't want to. Doesn't want to melt. So I'm wondering. Crowbar. Of course, crowbar. All right. We're not gonna take the wall off though. We're gonna take the ceiling off. All right. Give me that glass. Now, why can't I place you? I have no idea. Oh, I saw you. There you are. Still no water, though. Hmm. Maybe it's got to melt and pump into somewhere else. I don't know. Turn that back on, see what that does. Uh, nothing's connected, but we'll turn it on anyways. Let's see what it does. It was supposed to be water, but for some reason the ice doesn't want to melt on demand anymore. But, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, we're going to call it here. I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I know there wasn't much, but, hey, well, we'll get into something good next episode. Anyways, see you in the next one. Later.